I think that's the neatest part of the weekend. Repeating that coffee time after driving time and being able to talk to the girls um, just the way that mom talked to me. Hi, I'm Nani, and welcome to the Chronicles of Nani. Uh, This is storytelling, um, part two, uh, from my initial storytelling. Um, I I really couldn't talk about uh, my ability to tell stories uh, without talking about my grandfather. Um, And it's easy for me to talk about Papa for a while when I'm talking about storytelling because he was definitely my favorite storyteller. Like I said, the greatest compliment in the world was when grandma told me that I tell stories like Papa did. You, you can't get a higher compliment than that, than the widow of the greatest storyteller that I ever knew telling me that you tell stories like he did. So I spent a lot of time talking about that. Uh, And then when we left off at the end of part one, um, we had just discovered that my brother was expecting twins and had taken my glory of my car away from me. And uh, now before I get too riled up about that, uh, definitely need to make sure I have my coffee because it's a coffee shop and without my coffee um, well it's not a coffee shop right Uh, this is another one of my uh, Eaton Park coffee mugs I think there have been three of them that that have uh, graced the uh, cyber coffee shop and uh, I, I admit that there are more um, so Eaton Park's gotten money from me for food and for cookies and for coffee mugs that show off their cookies. <laughs> Back to my brothers having twins. Um, truth is, my brother and I are 14 months apart. Um, I often will tell my my father now, but my parents when my mother was alive, um, I I would tell them both that I understood that I was born and they said, behold, what a perfect child. Um, And we're in a big hurry after that. We've got to do this again. And then Dave was born and they said, okay, I think we're done. Um, However, um, my brother tells the story that I was born and my parents said, oh, we can do better than this. And he was born and they said, okay, now we're done. Um, Dave, of course, is wrong. But, um, and when I uh, talk to my dad on my birthday, I will reiterate the, I understand that Dave was the, nah, we can't do perfection again, so you quit. Um, but just humor him on his birthday when he tells you uh, that that he was the perfection you were striving for when you failed with me. Um, just humor him and let him say it. But we both know it's wrong. So being 14 months apart, uh, when we were younger and we both were playing hockey, uh, people thought we were twin boys even though my hockey jacket said Southgate Girls Hockey, um, people thought we were twin boys because we both had hockey jackets on. That was enough. You know, twin boys, you play, you play hockey on the same team. Anyway, 
And then when we were older in high school and he had his rock and roll long hair, uh, people thought we were twin girls. Um, just that I was the one that was more gifted in the boobs department than he was. Uh, the funny thing is, especially without makeup on, if you were to take all of my hair away and maybe sometimes give me a little bit of stubble, we've got the exact same face. Um, so we still do kind of look like twins, but part two uh, from last week is the story of me finally getting even. It took 15 years, but I got even for stealing my thunder over the car. And here's the rest of the story. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. So for many years, uh, people thought my brother and I were twins. So his girls looked a lot like their dad. Therefore, since I look a lot like their dad, they look a lot like me. No one ever questioned. In fact, people always thought that it was me and my kids. Um, I think we've reached a point now where people don't so much think we're twins. Um, actually, I remember uh, one weekend that my husband and I were watching the girls because they weren't driving yet, involved in lots of stuff. In fact, they, they were on their driver's permits. So I got to take them out and let them practice driving for a while at, at the high school on, on the weekend. But um, Dave and my current sister-in-law, uh, Laura, had uh, gone out, uh, were doing something for the weekend. Uh, so while Bro and Sis were out doing their thing on the weekend, and Aunt and Uncle were taking care of the girls. Um, I had gone to bowling with Marina and I have fun with this story because it's something that at the time was, it made a, it didn't make a difference to me. It made a big difference to Dave because Dave is 14 months younger than me. And, uh, so I had taken Marina to bowling and one of the moms from her team sat down next to me and she looked at me and she goes, Marina's sister, right? And, and I said, no, not, not her sister. I said, I, I said, I'm Marina's aunt. I said, oh, I thought you were her older sister. You're Dave's younger sister then. And I said, no, actually I'm Dave's older sister. Um, and she looked at me and she goes, there is no way you're older than Dave. And uh, I got a kick out of that. And I enjoyed telling Dave about that. Because at that time, it bothered Dave more than it did me. That um, people thought that I looked younger than he did. Um, now, I didn't work outside. Um, so I wasn't getting sunburned and well I occasionally got sunburned when I did outside shoots but um, if I was doing editing or stuff or I was doing office work at one of my inside jobs um, I, I was working inside so I was not uh, out getting uh, attacked by the elements um, I had quit smoking ages and ages ago and my brother still smoked that adds to aging your face. So uh, the fact that people were starting to think that Dave was older than I was didn't bother me. Um, it bothered Dave. That when we go someplace together, you're the older sibling, right? Nope. So when one of uh, the parents from Marina's bowling team um, thought that I was her older sister and was shocked that I was 
her dad's older sister. Um, I, I just, uh, at that point, I wasn't insulted at at the somebody saying that I looked younger than I was. Um, I was just tickled at the fact that this was going to really tick my brother off. Um, yeah, and, and he was just, yeah, I don't want to hear about it when I told him about it. Um, I think he laughs at it now. Um, and it's something that we laugh at together, but um, it, it was... It was fun at the time. Um, and that's one of those things that, uh, well, that's one of those things that adds to the, as you get older, the nieces get cooler and cooler because as they get older and their dad gets older and the aunt's not getting older as fast enough, the girls still get cooler and cooler. Um, but, uh, and the truth is that, that you know, the, the coolest part of that weekend was when the three of us did driving uh, at the high school and we went to Starbucks after that and we all had uh, coffee or coffee drinks and we talked about things that they did while they were driving because that was just like mom and I did when I was learning to drive is we would go out to the mall parking lot um, after the, the mall had closed. So there were almost like real streets um, to drive around and I could practice parking and stuff like that. And we would go to Dunkin' Donuts and uh, sit and talk about uh, what I had learned or what I had done driving. She would give me her opinion. Um, I would tell her things I would tell her that driving around the perimeter roads and I got up to 30 miles an hour and I was scared because boy was I going fast. Um, back to Starbucks. Uh, I, I got to repeat that uh, sitting and having coffee and talking about um, what the girls had done uh, while they were driving, what they'd done well, what they need some work on. Um, and I think that's the neatest part of the weekend. Repeating that coffee time after driving time and being able to talk to the girls um, just the way that mom talked to me and, and to have that, um, that feeling of any of the maternal desires were fulfilled and all of the other freedoms were also fulfilled. I think that that's one of the fantastic things about being an aunt that doesn't have children. It is getting the chance to experience um, that, that feeling uh, of how great motherhood is. Um, but uh, having kids yourself. So that's a little bit of storytelling. Uh, for today. A little bit of uh, anting and there'll be some more interesting stories about anting um, because because my nieces were that cool um, when they were younger um, and they're that cool now. Uh, my couple of my absolute favorite millennials uh, would be my nieces the master's degree and a homeowner. Um, you, you can't get better than that. Um, and, and I've got one of each. So uh, you're definitely going to hear some more about them because they're wonderful kids. Um, and 54 and 26, they'll always be kids to me. Um, just sort of like I'm always going to be my father's kid. So is my brother. It just works out that way. Because my parents were always my grandparents' kids. So that was my getting even with my brother. And just a little bit about how cool my nieces are. And how cool they still are. Um, and if you take a look at this week's earrings, you will be seeing them again. 
in a future storytelling time when I talk about anting and uh, what it's like to be a, a ant and how totally cool my nieces are. Um, and I'm going to leave that sort of as a cliffhanger so that you keep watching. So that was the rest of the story um, to tell you a little bit about how I did 15 years later finally get even with my brother for taking my glory away from my car. Um, but it also uh, was a little bit about how cool anting is from that weekend uh, that I spent with the girls and that I learned so much from them and I still learn so much from them. They're 26 uh, now and I'm still learning from them all the time. Uh, it, as, as much as I teach, I learn. Uh, that's what generations are all about. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to say goodbye for this week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's a fun vlog. Um, chronic illness notwithstanding, it's fun. You can still have fun uh, no matter what you're dealing with. Find the fun. It's there. Um, it's there if it's not any place else. Um, and having that, uh, the, the ability to smile is important, uh, which is why subscribing is important. Um, cause it increases my ability to smile. Uh, but for now, um, if you have stories that, that you'd like to tell, um, and you want to leave a few paragraphs in the comments, I will definitely read them. Uh, and I will be here 8 o'clock in the morning every Friday. That's when the vlog premieres. Um, I am here if you want to join me uh, at 8 o'clock uh, on YouTube. We can talk and have coffee together. Um, if not, the Chronicles of Nani is open 24 and 7. And you can always catch up on anything that you don't see uh, on the premiere or any of the old episodes. If there are some that you just like, um, please feel free to watch them again. I, I, that's great too. Um, but until next Friday, I will be seen by you then and have coffee with you either live and in person or definitely uh, drinking my coffee and uh, sharing a cup of coffee with you whenever you watch the vlog. And until next week, have a fantastic week.